Why do, why do you have such strong preferences when it comes to hair? What do you mean? You love hair on faces. You mm -hmm. don't like hair on bodies. Mm -hmm. Why mm -hmm. is that? Why is it okay to have it on the face but not on like the chest? Because that's gross. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, in just that short little trailer, the visuals kind of looked in, in a different way, but like Bahubali in terms yeah. of like how beautiful they were, but in a different way. Among the many things that I'm looking forward to American audiences and people to understand about Indian <sighs> cinema, aside from the, the obvious that it's the biggest cinema in the world and the quality of the acting, but consistently some of the most beautiful cinematography and lighting so consistent. in the history of cinema I've ever seen is stuff we've seen that's it's just the leading some of the most beautiful imagery ever captured on film that so many people who don't pay attention to it are missing and just that trailer alone was like are you kidding me a romantic drama set in Europe during the 1970s that's exactly what I felt when I was watching that trailer that's exactly <laughs> what I would have thought a romantic drama. It's just, yeah, that's exactly. That's what it gave me the vibes on. Yeah, right there. yeah. It reminded me exactly of like a Woody Allen film. A romantic <laughs> drama set in Europe during the 1970s. Yeah, I'm obviously kidding and think it's funny that the log line is that when actually that trailer was monstrous and huge. Yeah, uh, I, and also, I didn't get anything on the romance. What I got was more like psychological thriller with him being this guy who can read palms and predict the future and and. Well, clearly wanting to be seen for what he says because of his accuracy. And it's definitely going to be um, a kind of almost, I bet, Bondish style. That's how it feels. Um, like he's going to have this romance Espionage. going on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. There's going to be a lot more going on. There was a flying boat. There was a flying boat. <laughs> I'm guessing. Like, and there was a thing there that looked kind of Christopher Nolan-y. Like time was going backwards. Maybe he can bend time like Doctor Strange. A zit on my knuckle. You were good. <laughs> oh look, a squirrel! <laughs> I was like, why does the top of my knuckle hurt? And if there was like right here. Uh, yes, I've gotten pimples in various strange places that, when, and they hurt really bad when it's they're the in the odd locations. Strangest place you've ever had a, a, a pimple? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, anyways, the cinematographer is the sphincter. You had one there. Pimple on the sphincter. You had a pimple on the sphincter. I don't know if it was a pimple. Could have, been, could have been something. No, it wasn't a hemorrhoid. Those are those can be brutal. Thank God I've never had a bad. Um, but uh, cinematographers Manoj um, Bajpayee. No. Oh, I was gonna say when did he start doing that? Uh, Manoj Parahamsa. Forgive the m mispronunciation. Yeah, because it looked absolutely beautiful. Uh, like yeah, every the, shot, the was... lighting and the, sh the everything. I'm just visual effect wise. Look at that. I mean, that, that looks like your... a painting. He's I'm, just going through I'm some of the the, 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 the sequences fast. right now. It's just... And some of the ocean... I can't help but mention this sometimes when we see ocean sequences of boats at night. Because the most beautiful... No, not Titanic. Some of the most beautiful cinematography ever was Ang Lee's Life of Pi. And the stuff he did on the ocean at night was just a work of art. And this looked... I mean, this reminded me of that. Um, this, looks, this looks unbelievably beautiful. Yeah. Um, and again, look at the lighting on that shot. I mean, look at that. That's a that's beautiful lighting. Everything looks very. It almost clean. Looks, I don't want to say because uh, sometimes when people like it looks a certain way, people say it looks like Disneyfied, where everything is ridiculously pretty mm. and clean. Mm. It doesn't look that uh, like in terms yeah, of no, like. I wouldn't say that. I almost say that sometimes looks fake. I agree. Uh, sometimes, because they want to make everything look picture perfect. Pristine. Um, but this has a similar quality in terms of just everything is just crisp. Like a shot of an eye. Yeah, it's how do you really even, nice. How do you, you know what's one of the most, I look for it all the time, <coughs> God bless you, in in the, the reflection off of eyes and the reflection off of glasses, and 99 out of 100 times, it's flawless. It's one of the, one of the weirdest things for me is when they do shots and someone's wearing glasses or the lighting is on the eye and you do not see the crew or the camera in the reflection. It's really hard to do, but you got to do it. You got to make sure there's no mistakes like there's that. There's a reason that film is a collaborative effort. Yes. Certain, uh... And how hard it is. Yes. It's so hard to make a good movie. Yeah. And it's so hard to make a good movie. I don't know if you saw what Guillermo said about what the Oscars are doing with the... Oh, yeah. Oh, was, yeah. What everybody's saying about the Oscar, but particularly Guillermo. Yeah, he was like, uh, I don't make a film alone. <laughs> in, case yeah. you in case you didn't know. Yeah. The, so the, you're taking 
<laughs> the credit away from these the incredibly Academy. talented people. The Academy is making some absolutely stupid, ridiculous choices that everyone in the industry are looking at them and saying, have you lost your minds? I don't care anymore. Are you, are you supposed, is this supposed to be awards for artistic excellence? Because it's supposed to be the granddaddy of all of them and you're, you're starting to say you want to be the People's Choice Awards now. You're poo-pooing on it. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely abysmal what they're doing. They Anyways, need to get their act together. But yeah, this looks really good. Uh, let us know uh, what you thought about the trailer and what should be our next Prabhas film. Please let us know down below.